Hello, I'm Mr Woods and I'm Joint Head of Science here at Homer Green Senior School. Our science curriculum is designed to allow students to find their passion within our subject. Whether it's physics, biology or chemistry, we want to give our pupils the chance to find the area that they most enjoy and to provide them with the tools to let them take charge of their own inquiries. We believe that we need to set our students on the path to become scientists. We teach science as a spiral curriculum where each year pupils build upon the foundation that was put in place during previous years and they constantly challenge themselves to improve. This course isn't always easy, but our supportive and knowledgeable staff are always on hand to help all of our pupils. At all key stages, our courses follow the AQA curriculum, giving our pupils consistency and preparing them for examination style at both GCSE and A-level. In year seven and eight, pupils in our key stage three have three hours of science lessons a week with one teacher. This course is built to consolidate the primary science and give them all everything they need to access the GCSE course when we start in year nine. In key stage four, science classes have an increase in lesson time with five hours a week in split between two different teachers who have specialist subject knowledge. Our small A-level classes allow us to build strong relationships both between the teachers and the pupils and to allow pupils to help each other out with the frankly quite challenging courses. As well as running the AQA Combined Science for All Pupils, our most able students are also given the opportunity to complete the AQA Triple Science course. This gives them a wealth of extra knowledge and an extra GCSE grade. We begin this course in year nine with our top two sets and then we reassess this in year 10 when pupils are given exam of triple only questions and the opportunity to opt in or opt out of this course. Uh, our results, quite frankly, speak for themselves. In 2018 to 2019, the number of pupils reaching the 9 to 4 grade was at least 6% above national average in all three single sciences, and it was 8% above national average in combined science. Key stage 5 is no different, with 50% of biology and 67% of our physics students receiving A star to B grades, and similarly in our BTEC, 57% of all students got a distinction level or above. There are opportunities to take part in science after school too. We run a year seven and eight after school chemistry club to all those who are interested and pupils apply what they've learned to novel practical activities and demonstrations. Some of the pupils who used to take part in year seven and eight um, even invite, have been invited to help in later years and aid the other students. We also run an invite only STEM club, which uh, lets students build towards a crest award. Not all science takes place in the lab, so not all of our learning takes place there either. Outside of school, we've got a group of pupils who attend STEM, STEM Olympics in Wickham Abbey, the Big Bang at Buck Science Fair, and who take part in ecological studies at Mop End, to name just a few things. Uh, we, in partnership with GE Healthcare, we also have a group of young female scientists who attend Girls Get Set. Uh, this is an event that encourages these students to consider future careers in STEM through a series of lectures, practical activities, and mock interviews. Thank you for listening. We're all looking forward to having you study science with us and to see yet another group of amazing students become a group of amazing scientists.